Welcome back to Just Scribble. Last May, almost a year ago, I had pre-ordered my Shape of Heart Platinum Fountain Pen and I absolutely love this pen. It has a classic black barrel, rose gold accents, and then crystals in the finial with a heart from the breather hole of the platinum nib. And I just absolutely love this pen. I was so excited when it came out. I absolutely love hearts. I love crystals. I love rose gold. And I was so excited that I was able to pre-order this around my birthday last year. And then when I got it, I absolutely fell in love. And this year they have launched a second one. So this one is black and this one is white ivory to be more specific. So last year when I pre-ordered this one, I pre-ordered it from Cult Pens, but this year I pre-ordered from Pen Chalet. So I did get their little sticker, which is adorable. And then my pen. So I thought we would open it up and check out my pen and then fill it with an ink and do a writing sample. So when I ordered this pen, the ivory, I went back and forth on what nib size to get. My nib in this one is a fine, which I love and works great in my planners, but I decided for this second one, I would get it in a medium. I could also use my planners, but would also be great for journaling. And so that way I would have two different nib sizes in my two Shape of Heart pens. So I did get all of the normal like warranty card and user manual information. This is a 3776 from Platinum. And this one came with a converter and a cartridge, which is most likely in blue black ink. I haven't checked it. I actually haven't even opened this up, but usually it is in blue black and it says BB. So should be blue black ink, but it comes with a converter and a cartridge. And then it came with a bottle of mixable ink from Platinum. This looks to be brown. It is. And we'll do a little swatch of that. So just so we can check it out, but it did come with this mixable ink and then my beautiful pen. So let me put all of this, actually, let me leave the ink out so we can swatch it and the converter out because we're going to use that. I'm going to leave the cartridge in here, put all the warranty card stuff back in there and put this away. My black pen came with rose gold accents. I actually don't have a lot of black fountain pens. It is a very classic pen to have but I like everything to be a little bit special and a little bit me. And so the fact that this had rose gold accents and then the sparkle made this classic black pen perfectly me. But this one came with silver accents and I love silver and white gold. So I was really excited about that. And it also has a very different finish. So let me take off this little tag. So this is the ivory and it has silver accents. And then it has the same sparkly finial with all the crystals in it. And then inside there, there is a heart from the breather hole. Sometimes it's kind of hard to find your heart and see it, but in there, there is a heart. And then this pen has a matte finish. And from the photos, I actually didn't know that that was going to be the case. I didn't know that actually till I opened it up but I'm really excited for that because it makes it even more unique because I do have quite a few white fountain pens. I have three actually sitting on my desk right now. I have two or three more actually in the living room on a tray table because I was doing some planning and journaling and I have more. I really, really love white pens. So I was really excited that they came out with this in white, but I'm even more excited that it has this matte finish because it makes it even more unique and special. So there they are next to each other. It's the same pen, just with different metal accents, different nib size and then obviously one is black and lacquered and the other one is white and matte or ivory that's what they call it and I got a medium nib in this one so there we have the nib with the heart breather hole oh it feels so good in my hand oh I'm so excited all right so what we're going to do first 
is we are going to swatch out this ink just so we can see the ink that it came with. And we're also going to fill up my pen. Before we swatch it out, I am gonna show you the ink that I'm going to fill it with. I went back and forth on what ink to put into my new Ivory Shape of Heart pen. I do have black ink, just traditional black ink in this pen because I do use it as my planner pen and I use black ink predominantly in my planner. But for this one, I wanted to put a color in it and I decided I wanted to play off of the sparkles. So I thought because it's sort of like a holographic effect, I thought about putting either a pink or a blue or a purple ink in this pen and I decided that I was going to use Van Diemen's Blue Jay Crown. So this is the ink that we're going to use. I have the bottle right here. So that's what we're going to fill in this pen. I think that that is a perfect ink for the crystals in this pen. Like I think it will just really, really play off of those crystals. So that's the color that we're going to put in there. But before we do that, Let's do a little swatch. There's a little bleed through from the swatching I did on that side. And then I had spilled some ink, but it is brown, so it will go well. But I'm just gonna lay down some ink. This is a really pretty sort of amber color. Let's set that there. And we'll check out what that ink looks like once it's dry. And while we're waiting for that to dry, we're going to flush my new pen and fill it with ink. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my converter in there and I'm gonna put it all the way to the top. And then I'm gonna take this water glass and I'm just going to twist clockwise to take water in and then counterclockwise to push the water back out. I'm just gonna do that a couple of times just to make sure that the nib is clean. And I'm going to dry that off and I'm going to wash off my automatic pen from the swatching we did. And then I'm going to get my Van Diemen's ink. And we're going to fill this up. This is not a shimmer ink. It is just a beautiful ink. It is from their newest collection, which is Birds of a Feather. I do have a video where I share this entire collection, so you can check that out if you want to see all of those inks. And I do have a video on my first Shape of Heart pen. But we're going to use this ink to fill my new pen. So same thing, I'm going to make sure that the piston of the converter is all the way down. Then I'm going to stick the nib in there, turn clockwise to fill it. Now we have ink in there. Cap my bottle so I don't make an accident. Because I have done that once or twice on my channel. I don't ever do it when I'm filling pens, not filming, but I've done it a couple times while filming. And I'm just gonna wipe off the excess that I got on the feed. And I'm gonna put my pen back together. So this notebook that I swatched in, this is Cosmo Air Light paper, and this spiral is from Drum Goals. But we are going to do a writing sample in my Tomoe River paper pad, where I also do sampling and swatching. This is actually where I did the writing sample for my Black Shape of Heart fine nib, so you can see that. And we're going to use this to do the writing sample with my new one, and then we'll do a comparison. There is a little bit of excess water still in there, so the color isn't going to be quite as vibrant as it will be once I've written it, once I've written with it for a little bit. But we're just going to go ahead and go for it, and we're going to write our sample. So this is a platinum three seven seven six limited edition. It is the shape of heart in the medium nib and it is the ivory. So 
there we have the writing sample like i said it's going to be a little bit faint until i've written with the pen for a little while so i will definitely be posting on instagram so definitely follow me there at just scribble.yt so you can see this like once the water has kind of dried up and the ink has fully saturated but i wanted to test it out and share with you guys and then this is going to be much more vibrant because or dark because it's black So this is and this is in the fine so you can see the two next to each other definitely wanted a more subtle soft color in this pen I don't know why I think just with the crystals and the white body I just wanted something that was soft that I could journal with I don't need something that's quite so like stark as black ink for journaling sometimes it's nice to have an ink color that's just a little bit softer a little bit more muted and a little bit more romantic for your journaling and so I wanted to pick a color that was a little bit lighter and like I said it will be darker as I've written with it for a while but that way you can see kind of the same words in the medium and the fine nib there's not a huge difference between the medium and the fine nib but there is just a slight difference that I wanted I did for a moment think about getting a broad but I didn't think I really wanted a broad in this pen so I went with the medium and I'm glad that I did I think it's a really good size that I can use in both my planners and my journals and of course if I use a darker ink it will show up a little bit differently than this softer lighter color that I picked and then the ink swatch that we swatched from the free bottle is drying it's a little bit more orange toned than some browns, but it's really, really pretty. I haven't done any of their mixables yet and made my own colors, but now that I have this bottle, I may need to get some others and kind of play with it and maybe do a video with you guys and mix my own colors. But this is the color that I'm using, Blue Jay Crown, and I think it is just lovely. I think it's gonna be really pretty to journal with. But that's my video. I just wanted to share my new pen with you guys. I'm really excited to get it. You will definitely see it in some posts and some reels and probably in future videos as well. If you have any questions about anything I shared in this video, please don't hesitate to comment below and I will definitely get back with you. Make sure that you're subscribed so you don't miss future videos and don't forget to just scribble.